I'm back with a new journal to share with you. This one is made or was made uh, using my kit La Belle Rose. It's a complete journal kit with pages and tags and journal cards and various things that you can use to create your own journal. But I'm calling her Belle for short. And um, she's five and three quarters by eight and three quarters. She has a half inch spine. There you can see that. There's her back. Um, she's uh, two signatures and 82 plus pages. I always say plus because I put booklets and things inside so that I think counts as more pages. I also call count the inside of both covers, inside front and back, because I put pockets on them and that has a place for you to put things. So 82 plus pages. The fat, the cover is made, I, I, I took a piece of tapestry fabric that's so beautiful. Love the colors of it. Um, very smooth and silky uh, and then I sewed it over the top and glued it on top of a heavy duty file folder so it's it's flexible but sturdy um, what else can I tell you about it I'll write the rest down below so we can quit fiddle fiddling around I, I did put this heart on here it's an embroidered heart and had these beautiful little flower ets on it. I colored this half back pearl with my Copic markers and this is Sari Silk. It's so beautiful. So let's set that aside and we'll go inside. Make sure I'm in frame. Okay. On the inside cover you can see that I have a pocket there and here's a postcard and a, and a tag. The postcard says this book belongs to, and the tag says, and the story begins. So they're all right there. It's a beautiful lady dreaming about Paris. I did this journal differently. A lot of times we do things with, you know, um, kind of a, a brownish gold or a vintage photo kind of color. But I loved the green. I, I decided to go with green for these um, embellishments on the page. And then she had green on, so that just looked beautiful together. Okay, here's another pocket that I used a, a punch with. And I gave you some words in the kit, so you can... Um, even do more. I'll send some more with this journal. I put some tea dyed paper in here. So I gave you a good sized piece to journal on. And this is can be where you write your steamy secrets. If I can get it in there, yes. Okay, and all the pages are tea dyed. Um, but I did add some pa um, some parchment paper and others I may mention as I go through. I did do some stenciling with roses. And on the parchment pages, I did put some flowers that are from the kit. So I just used them. I did do some stamping. There's a corner tuck with, in case somebody doesn't know, that is the French way to say remarkable. I, it's not that I'm a poor spiller. Here's one of the little booklets I mentioned. And it's got, I did some punching on the inside of it too. But it's filled with tea dyed papers. There's a beautiful little doily. And then here's a vellum page it's filled with roses. There's a page from the kit. And there's one of the liners that I gave you. Anyway, here's a belly band. And it's got some shake, rattle, and roll <laughs> kind of fringe here. This is a very large tag that I gave you. And I put it on a belly band. This is Rosebud Stories. And then this is some paper. I, I'm always looking for 
uh, tablets or books. And this was a booklet that I found. I think it was at Dollar Tree. And so I, they were sewn in the pages. You have to watch for these. They're good bargains. They're sewn in so you can, you can undo the stitching and then put them in your journal. So that, that just gives you some more, you know, more variety. Here's another pocket. There's one of the cards from the kit. Another envelope with more tea dyed paper. And I won't take it all the way out, but you can see that's what it is. Here, something I've never done before, but I, I folded this page like this. So you could do some journaling here and it's kind of hidden. And then I made a pocket here for these little cards. And I, my, I tied little strings. I tied it into a bow, the strings that I sewed it in. There's also room to, to uh, journal here. The other side of the rosebud paper. Here's another little corner or uh, side tuck with some cards from the kit. And I made some small cards, small tags, small cards. Because I like little things. I don't know about you, but I like little things in my journal. So there's a bunch of little things. I'll just lay them there. Come back and fix it later. There's the other side and the vellum page. Here's another, um, I usually use this as just at the bottom for a pocket, but I decided to make it a belly band. So I've got a card inside and I'm just gonna slide. I'm trying to do it left-handed, no wonder. I'm not very amb ambidextrous. Okay, down the, the belly band part, I put a page from the kit that I didn't use but really love. If I can get it open. There's the liner. There's the page. There's the liner. And then here's a postcard. And I did a little stamping on the back. And I just slide right back down in there. It's a beautiful rose on parchment, and then this is tea dyed. And here's a beautiful lace page. Um, this is lace that my friend Char Sherrod sent me. And over here, I'm hoping I get yes, this little flip out has another little squatty tag. I made some squatty tags, and it says Ma Petite Cherie. And I don't have a French accent, so. I made one of these. It's made out of chipboard so that you can put these behind a page you're trying to journal on. Let's say this one. And you'll be able to journal more easily. I just thought that was a nice thing to have. And there's, because I put my, my um, signatures at a half inch distance apart so that there's more room the book lays more flat it's easier to write in um it doesn't get alligator jawed anyway there's a beautiful lady she's reading romeo and juliet and she's crying <laughs> anyway here's a well it's actually four pockets in these this pocket there's a variety of small medium size tags and cards then there's a bitty, bitty little pocket down here with another little bitty card. And then there's another little bitty pocket up here with three little cards in it. I should share the wealth, huh? I think they'll both fit. There we go. Oh, yeah, because there were four in there. So, yes, we can share. Anyway, that's in there. It says Belle. And then... Ma Cherie Maria, and that's a little love letter or in French. And a little ticket. I did use, oh, if I can remember the name again, every time I have trouble remember, it's not Stickles. Oh, if I look at the, I could see it from here. Um, I'll write it down below. I always forget, but I, I, I cover 
through the book there were various sites that I that I put a little sparkle in. There's a music sheet it says vintage style. There's um, parchment. Okay, this is a different sort of belly band that I made. Um, up the middle, it's got this tall, little, thin booklet of tea stained papers. I didn't punch these because that would have been taking too much of the paper away. So you've got that. But also, you have a tag right here. Then my favorite French doilies and have another piece of vellum, some beautiful roses on it. There's another. This is one of my favorite pages from the kit. Okay, here's I, I got carried away with belly bands, but I like them. So I have this belly band, and I thought, well, I want to put it on this little page. So I wrapped it around to be a tuck spot and made it a belly band here. Here's uh, one of the cards from the kit. On the back is the Tiffany stamp. And, uh, yeah. And then here's the other side of that beautiful page that I love. Because I love this image. Anyway, there you go. And so I put those both in there. We won't do it now. And there's this little card over here on this side. There's some more lined paper. There's a garden. And some tea day. And here's the center of the second signature. It's a tall tag. The stopper. Over here. There are two cards, but I left this open. You can glue it down if you want to, but so that you'll have to flip the lace back and then you can journal on it. De fleurs, des fleurs, whatever. The other side of the garden. This is a Rita Donnelly flip. And I add a back to it by folding the paper across there and leaving one big, I make about a four or four and a half inch piece of paper, the full eight and a half, no, full, uh, yeah, eight and a half length. And I fold this down, then fold this back, and that gives me this pocket back there, in case you wanted to know. There's a card with some places to write that and then back here is a tag with place to write this is a another envelope with more journal paper or with more tea dyed paper gosh i'm just super yakky i guess i've missed you guys i hope you're all doing well and enjoying your summer There's another vellum sheet with a big rose on it. There's another pocket with a tag and a journal or a postcard. And then this, you open it up and there's a tablet filled with an assortment of papers. I put rhodia paper in there and tea dyed paper and graph paper, just an assortment. Just a little tablet for you. Beautiful rose up there and some more stenciling. Oh, that didn't want to. Okay. A large tuck pocket with a postcard in it. This is the last page, and in the back pocket, there's a large postcard with a rose, and then this journal handmade for you by me in 2022. This journal will be listed in my Etsy shop and is for sale. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Um, my Etsy shop not only carries journals, but I also have all kinds of digital kits like this LaBelle Rose. So I hope you'll stop by. The links will be below. And um, take a look around. Um, and you guys have a great day. Okay? Bye-bye now.